I'm talking about public debates. So when Sheikh Ahmed Didat, may Allah have mercy on his soul, had a debate with James Swagger, he literally knocked him out with a KO. James Swagger could not do anything because he wasn't prepared. He did not have any knowledge, neither in Christianity nor in Islam. So he was totally knocked out. A couple of years later, there was another debate with a, a, a missionary called uh, Anis Sharush. Palestinian evangelist came with the purpose of throwing misconceptions and doubts in the hearts of Muslims, not to reach the truth. So he came prepared and he bombarded Sheikh Ahmed in half an hour with like 50 doubtful things of Islam. And every Muslim was, huh? Oh, <coughs> these things are, yeah, I never thought of that. Why is Islam is like that? Why Islam is like this? So 50 shubha, throwing them, bombarding the sheikh. When the sheikh came to rebuttal, he had only 30 minutes and that would suffice to respond to one or two issues. What about the rest? It's all down the drain. It's all in the hearts of the Muslims who watch these debates and caused many of them to doubt their Islam because there was not enough time to respond. Every single doubtful matter could have been addressed, but the time was not sufficient. This is why Ahlus Sunnati wal Jama'ah refuse strongly to debate the people of innovation or to meet them. For the fear that Allah may, or for the fear that this may be causing confusion to the Muslims and for the fear of their hearts, for their hearts, that shaitan may throw something that would corrupt their hearts. So you have to definitely stop watching. I was just, before I, I, I came here, with a brother from America in a counseling session. And he was telling me, Sheikh, I'm practicing, I pray on time, but I was so addicted to watching debates, now my iman is not the same. Now I'm thinking, anytime the Sheikh says a hadith, I criticize the hadith in my head. And I say, maybe it's not true, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. And this is the end result, which would most likely lead a person to hypocrisy, doubting his own religion. So definitely you have to stop this. And if you have any doubts about something you heard in a debate, never go and address the close ones to you, your siblings, your friends, your relatives, because you'll confuse them and lead them to doubting Islam. Go to a sheikh and state to him your doubt to relieve you from your confusion and inshallah he will do that for you.